quest for you is on. Hello, I'm Janine, and this is episode 17. Good morning, and much love from my side of this world to everyone who's listening. Today I want to ask you, what matters to you? And what is important to you in your life? Have you given this some thought? If not, today we will. And I want to make it clear that I am not talking about things or accomplishments. I'm talking about your values, your principles, and how you want to carry yourself through life. If you Google values, you will find that there are many websites that show lists of values. Usually those are nouns. Words such as commitment, compassion, honesty, responsibility, respect. Those are values. I want us to think a little deeper, go beyond this really good sounding noun and really find out what's behind it. So let's dig into values and why they are important. First of all, if you've never thought about values, it doesn't mean that you don't have any. I call values your guiding principles, the rules that you live by. And I know rules and principles are strong words, but let's ignore those for a minute. Let's focus on why they are important. And you may just have not defined them and named them But you may have them. You may be very clear of what for you is important and you live by that. But I think for a lot of us, we are not. And I want to help you with that today. So you see, I love the ocean. So I like to use analogies that deal with the ocean or with water. And when I think of life as a huge, wide, open ocean and myself in a little boat on the ocean floating along, then I also see that I often don't have direction. And life carries me and sometimes I steer left or I steer right, but often I don't have a clear path. So you see, my values are my path. If you don't have them, you let yourself be carried by life. And as we all know, life has so much to offer today, especially for those of us who are fortunate to have the means. With almost everything, we have options, and too many at times. And it can be easy to just let ourselves be carried by those options. Fashion trends, food choices, entertainment, media, all these products and services that are available to us at a click of a button. And literally, I mean, so many options to live an amazing life. But how do you decide? How do you pick your next vacation destination? That new sweater, your body lotion, or which social media site you spend your free time on? How do you select a job? Or your partner for life? How do you decide? Did advertising tell you the product is great for you? That's a wave. Are your friends using it? That's another wave. Or did you just make a decision in the spur of the moment or because you thought maybe this was your only option? Also a wave. You see, your values are your compass. They will help you navigate. They will help you guide through life's endless choices, large or small. But without knowing what's important to you, how can you make a good decision? Your values are your inner reference point that you measure most of your decisions against and it's okay to float at times and let life carry you but you need to be able to find back to yourself and your values will help you with that i even argue that with a strong set of inner core values you are less dependent on your willpower and we all know how fickle our willpower is so let's use diet as an example of something that I bet a lot of you listeners have experience with. And specifically the goal of eating healthier. You decide you want to eat healthier. So you make a plan, you buy healthy food, and off you go. 
and you stick with it. A couple of weeks, everything is good. You even lose some weight. And then someone brings your favorite cookies to work and puts them out on a table where you can see them all day. And you contemplate and you think and and thoughts like this go through your mind. Well, I've been so good. I've already lost some weight. I can have a cookie. And we know a cookie doesn't harm you. But more often than not, we start to cheat more often. And soon, you're back to your old habits. And what do we do? We often blame willpower. We're hard on ourselves. We think we are not strong enough. And we tell ourselves weird stuff at times. Like, well, maybe I'm meant to look this way. Maybe I'm meant to not eat healthy. And I just can't do it. We give up. It's hard. I know. Goals like this are hard. Especially with all the temptation around us. But what if we check with our inner compass first? Before we stuff that cookie into our mouth? We bounce it against our values. So, to have good values, you need to inform yourself. People that don't eat meat usually have a good set of reasons for avoiding it. So if you decide to avoid certain foods as part of the quest to a healthier lifestyle, then you should have your reasons as well. So maybe you avoid refined sugar because you don't feel well after eating it. You feel bloated, tired, low on energy. And you decide that you just don't want to feel like that anymore. You want to be productive, focused, energized. So you eliminate sugar. But in the cookie example that we had, You didn't really think about your values. You were simply tempted by this good-looking cookie. We all know this cookie was pure sugar, hidden behind this deceiving costume. And right after you had one or five of them, you regret it. Why? Because you don't feel well. The immediate gratification, those five seconds where you imagined the taste of this cookie, they're gone so quickly. Chewing and swallowing, it's just a quick activity and... The moment of pleasure is so brief, but the moment of guilt is so long. I know, always bothers me. So this is just a very simple example, but it reflects nicely the concept of outside focus versus inner value. Did the cookie talk to you? Almost. It smelled amazing, right? But inside you have a voice too. Unfortunately, it's not as loud and visual and sensual as the outside. It's just this tiny and quiet inner voice that gently reminds you of what you have deemed important. And too often we don't hear this voice. We don't remember. And it's normal. The temptation on the outside is much bigger than this quiet inner voice that we can just decide to tune out. And often we do. But I don't want you to feel discouraged after today's episode. I think only a small portion of people on this planet are able to make all their decisions based on their values. We all get carried away. We all go over that cookie from time to time. We buy something out of intuition. We go along with other people's plans because it sounds good. It's all right. All I want you to consider is this. Do you have inner values? Do you have an inkling of what is important to you in life? I bet you do. So bring it to consciousness. Bring it out and think about it a little bit today. Many decisions in life don't have huge consequences. The cookie example is such a decision. One cookie, two cookies. So what? But what about when it comes to choosing a partner for your life? How do you evaluate all the suitors that line up at your door? This is a much more important decision. So today, think about your values. You will find that you value things, maybe money or a nice home. But keep in mind that behind those things is usually a need. Maybe a need for financial security. Maybe it's maybe you're seeking protection, safety, comfort. Make sure you identify that need and ensure that the need is not a dependency on someone or something else. So for example, being liked is not a value. It's a need that is dependent on someone else doing something. So think about what matters to you and how you can live this value yourself. 
So for example, one of my values is that I want to create meaningful work. It's a value I took on maybe a year ago. And to me, it means that I spend my time doing something that is meaningful and has purpose. Hence, I created this podcast. You will find that your values change over time. As your needs change, so do your values. Therefore, it's something you need to think about from time to time. And if you don't have any values, or if you're not consciously aware of having them, then start today and start small. Start with three values, or maybe just one. And here are a few, in case you, in case you can't think of anything right now. You can definitely Google there's tons of lists, but here are a few that I like. Authenticity, adventure, balance, challenge, community, curiosity, determination, faith, friendships, growth, happiness, influence, justice, kindness, love, optimism, peace, self-respect, stability, trustworthiness. So all those are examples, and they don't have to be a one-word value either, but find something that resonates with you. For example, the word love, if it resonates with you, it may mean something totally different to you than it does to me. But what does it represent for you? Is it something that is very important to you? If it is, then how can you live it? I say it again. To make a good decision that you don't regret later. You have to be clear on what's important to you in your life. And when you measure your life at the end, we will all get there, right? We will all get to the end at some point. You will measure yourself against those values, I'm pretty sure. And then regret happens when you have lived a life out of alignment with your values. Remember, your inner roadmap is steady and stable. The outside world is fickle and ever-changing. You will find peace, you will find balance, and you will find stability when you're less dependent on outside currents to carry you from here to there. You won't wait on him to text you back. When you realize that you value integrity and honesty, someone that doesn't display those values has no room in your life. You don't need to buy yet another purse when you realize you rather contribute within your community where nobody cares about the brand name purse that you have. And you won't need to start yet another diet and exercise routine when you discover that self-love is really what you would like more in your life. So I wish you success with this exercise and thinking about your values. And please, as always, I don't always say this, but don't hesitate to reach out to me if you need help. If you have questions, there are comment sections on the website. Just send me a note and I'm happy to respond back. I'm here for you. So with much love from my heart to yours, have a wonderful day. Signing off. <laughs>